the law of relationships the command be fruitful means be relational because everything advances increases and multiplies on the basis of relationships relationships are advantageous connections the easiest way to succeed in life is through relationships relationships are currencies more superior currencies they can purchase things and they can bring it into the lives of individuals you can take relationships like money and go and buy things and return back and your receipt will be right paid for by relationships relationships do not maintain themselves the parties involved must commit to maintaining it there are three basic kinds of relationship number one please note there are general relationships number two there are seasonal relationships then number three there are destiny or covenant relationships the degree of investments that you put in them will not be the same seven keys to maintaining relationships the first key is that you must be willing to be selfless no matter what parameter you use the most accurate measure of love is the presence or the absence of self covenant is the strongest dimension of relationship because it is bound by an oath that is non-emotional covenant gives the parties involved in the relationship secure number three avoid backbiting and evil speaking number four very quickly avoid offense offense is the ease with which you get irritated angry or resentful number five practice forgiveness and tolerance Tolerance means you factor in that limitation and you know it will happen again number six the sixth way we maintain relationship is very instructive please listen be a contributor to the growth of the other party selflessness cannot be one-sided it is both ways are we together no relationship that truly has a future when it is one-sided as far as contribution is concerned whether it's a spouse companies friends ministerial relationships it has to be two money ways. is the least way to contribute to a relationship you will be surprised but this is true the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers but this group of people called destiny helpers destiny helpers are men and women equipped empowered ordained and assigned by god to help you fulfill your destiny and to take you to the next level in life according to scripture there are four types of destiny helpers the first kind and the first type of destiny helpers are called divine connectors divine connectors do not have the power to help you directly but they can lead you to those who have what it takes to help you the key to receiving from divine connectors is meekness and discernment because they will always come in forms that may not be desirable. the second kind or type of destiny helpers that we need they are called men of access and influence difficult things become very easy when credible people speak for you Everybody respects somebody the third kind of destiny helper still discussing the law of relationships they are called gifted people gifted people sometimes you just need skillful and talented people men and women who will use their gifts their talents and their skill to help you accomplish God's purpose before you pray that God will bring great people to you Please do well to work on yourself so that shame and reproach will be far from you so that when you step into the corridors of greatness you will not be sent back in shame can I tell you this excellence and competence is a language there are people who can speak it and there are people who understand it the last kind or type of destiny helpers we need they are called burden bearers burden bearers 
these are trusted and faithful people who will stay with you through storms will stay with you through challenges until your glory is revealed burden bearers are not those who stand with you they are those who die with you 